to begin, uh, the most of people I think is another room, uh, but I will give you my talk uh, anyway. So today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, new Android API that was introduced in Android Marshmallow. Uh, my name is Roman uh, and I am Google developer expert on Android platform. Uh, I'm working uh, as software engineer is in uh, in a small Ukrainian outsourcing company. Uh, its name Yalantis. Uh, so uh, nobody likes typing in passwords. That's just annoying. Uh, Android Marshmallow, as I said, brings uh, us new API, Android Fingerprint uh, API. Uh, it's available for developers uh, to integrate inside their own applications. Uh, and uh, it allow us to protect uh, sensitive da data and uh, allows us to authenticate payments, authorization, and a lot of interesting things. Uh, the first uh, two devices that uh, have implemented this API uh, was Nexus 5X and 6P. Uh, uh, the sensor's name is uh, Nexus Imprint. Uh, it allows uh, secure login and payments, and it's uh, really the first implementation of uh, this API. Uh, so it scans uh, single print uh, around uh, 600 uh, seconds. Uh, so uh, to, uh, what do we need to do uh, to implement uh, this API. First of all, a uh, device should have uh, hardware sensor support, so uh, it should be uh, on your device, or it, it can be connected. Uh, second, uh, this API will work uh, only on Android Marshmallow and above. Uh, we must uh, register our prints uh, in device uh, in the settings uh, prior to using uh, this API in our application. Uh, we should specify uh, a new permission uh, in Android manifest, it's use fingerprint. So uh, what is uh, the use cases for this new API? So uh, we can use uh, fingerprint API scanning uh, once user open it application to authenticate him. Uh, we can use uh, this API to uh, validate and sign a purchase. So if user buying some uh, kind of stuff, uh, instead of uh, typing password, he can just uh, put his finger and that is all. Uh, after registration, uh, we can uh, ask user to provide his fingerprint. Uh, fingerprints uh, are not storing uh, elsewhere. They are storing in a key store, uh, in Android key store. So uh, let's see how uh, this API looks like. Uh, our basic uh, friend is a, a fingerprint manager. So it's a system service. Uh, we can use, we can get it uh, from our current contexts. Uh, it coordinates uh, all access to uh, fingerprint hardware. Uh, using it, we can check uh, if we have a device, uh, if uh, we have uh, registered fingerprints on device. Uh, yes. Uh, to do so, uh, we have two uh, helpful methods. So first one uh, is hardware uh, detected. So it, if uh, your device have a sensor, it will return true. Uh, second one is to uh, check uh, does user have enrolled uh, fingerprints. Uh, by enrolling fingerprint, uh, I mean uh, that user should uh, go to the settings on his phone and he should uh, leave them in the system. Uh, so next thing is just, uh, we need just to call authenticate. Uh, we will have, uh, we should pass a crypto object to this method, uh, cancellation uh, callback, uh, which will help us to determine uh, if uh, authent authenticating task was canceled or no, uh, integer params uh, that represents future flags uh, authentication callback and handler. Uh, handler is optional. So uh, crypto object uh, may be null if you are not using case store. Uh, so let's uh, check uh, all these params. Uh, so uh, crypto object is a simple uh, wrapper class for crypto objects supported by fingerprint manager. Uh, so like uh, Schiffer or Mac. Uh, 
uh, Android Fingerprint API is tightly integrated uh, to Android uh, key store system. So uh, cancellation signal uh, represents a uh, callback that uh, allows us uh, to check uh, and to receive a signal that user cancelled uh, fingerprint uh, authentication. Uh, next uh, thing is authentication callback. So we have uh, four methods here. So the first one uh, indicates uh, us that uh, there was a fatal error. So uh, we will receive an error code and uh, some uh, description of it. Uh, second uh, method uh, on authentication failure uh, is called uh, when user attempt uh, to authenticate but uh, fingerprint uh, wasn't recognized. Uh, we should uh, implement this method too uh, to, not to notify user that uh, something wrong is happening. Uh, so uh, next method on uh, authentication help uh, is showing us that uh, there is some error but uh, we can do something. Uh, and again, you will receive a message and uh, error code. Uh, and the last one is a success callback. Uh, so you will receive a authentication result. Uh, it uh, will include a crypto object uh, that is as associated with a current authentication uh, session. Uh, so uh, let's talk about uh, keys and key store. So uh, Android Fingerprint API uh, protects uh, user privacy using fingerprint uh, features uh, contained within a secure hardware on device. Uh, so uh, that uh, protects user from uh, malicious software and uh, other things that can uh, steal your keys. Uh, we have. Uh, we have two types of keys uh, and encryption. Uh, so the first one is uh, symmetric encryption. Uh, that's a, a secret key. It can be number, string, uh, whatever. Uh, this en encryption representation some simple algorithm. For example, shifting string or replacing uh, symbols with numbers. Uh, as long as both uh, sender and receiver uh, know the key, uh, they can encrypt and decrypt. Uh, the issue here is uh, that uh, if uh, the key was compromised, uh, we can uh, just do anything. So uh, to create a symmetric key uh, and to uh, connect it to Android Fingerprint API, we should, uh, first of all, we should load a key store, then we need to generate a new key and then we should uh, set uh, user authentication required tr to true. Uh, this uh, indicates to system that uh, this key, uh, key will be accessible only if user was authenticated uh, using uh, Android Fingerprint API. Uh, Symmetric encryption. Uh, the problem with secret keys uh, is exchanging uh, them over the internet. Uh, so. Uh, so uh, there is a possibility to steal it. So uh, the solution is, is asymmetric uh, encryption. Uh, we should uh, create uh, two keys. Uh, the one is public and the second is uh, private. So uh, we're sending a public uh, key over the internet to server side. Uh, we can give this key uh, to anyone. Uh, so when users signing uh, sensitive data with uh, private key, uh, the one who has a public key uh, can encrypt this data and to check it, uh, vali valid validate sender, uh, and vice versa. So if we are signing uh, data by public key, we can validate, uh, validate this data by uh, checking it uh, with a private key. Uh, so let's take a look to uh, the flow on how can we implement uh, server-side authentication using uh, Fingerprint API. Uh, first of all, we should create a symmetric uh, key pair. So uh, the first key will be private, uh, it will be uh, on the client key store. The second one is public. Uh, so uh, after we are creating a public key, we are sending it to the server-side. Uh, after that, we should uh, ask user to uh, 
touch the fingerprint uh, sensor. Uh, this allows uh, to bind uh, this fingerprint with this key. Uh, then uh, we, we can uh, send a signed uh, piece of data, just like some uh, transaction or other, uh, to server side. A server, uh, when he receiving uh, this data, he can validate uh, using public key this data, so uh, and return result. Uh, so what should we do to create uh, an asymmetric uh, key pair? So uh, it's quite the same uh, to creating a symmetric key, but uh, uh, as a result of uh, doing this code, we, we will receive uh, two keys instead of one. Uh, and uh, the same, we should specify that uh, user authentication is uh, required. So. Uh, after that, we are getting uh, both the keys, so uh, public key and private key. Uh, so uh, when we receive them, uh, we can uh, send them uh, to server side. It's safe to uh, transmit uh, the public key over the network. Uh, uh, with this key, uh, as I said, uh, server side will be able to validate, validate uh, transac transaction or data. So uh, how can we sign uh, our data with uh, this uh, fingerprint? Uh, so uh, we should initiate a initiate, uh, process of signing uh, using a fingerprint manager. Uh, then we should uh, listen uh, for result. Uh, when we are receiving a successful result, uh, we will receive an uh, encrypted object. Uh, we will receive a signature. Oh, sorry. Uh, so then we can create transaction and uh, send it to server side. So uh, after successful uh, authentication uh, of this transaction, server will return uh, another piece of data, uh, and then we can validate that uh, all all is fine. So. Uh, most of us uh, don't have uh, Android 5X or 6P, so because it's uh, Im nearly impossible to buy it now. Uh, so how can we test uh, our applications now? Uh, it's possible uh, using uh, ADB. Uh, to support new APIs, uh, ADB can uh, emulate fingerprint touch. So you should just uh, execute this uh, command, uh, and that is all. Uh, user can have uh, more than one fingerprint in the system. So uh, you can just uh, specify uh, ID and use it against uh, different schemes. Uh, so uh, I've prepared uh, several uh, documentation and articles. Uh, it will be available on the DroidCon site. Uh, it's release notes. Uh, there is only a few information about this new API. Uh, second uh, article is uh, about using uh, KStore in Android. It was changed uh, recently in API level 16. Uh, then uh, an example to Google official d uh, repository. Uh, they hosted a project with a sample uh, on how can we create UI. So when asking uh, for fingerprint API, uh, UI is up to us. So. Uh, we are deciding uh, how it will uh, look like. Uh, then uh, next uh, is uh, the link to uh, design patterns. So uh, to use uh, this new feature, we should uh, do it uh, correct. So uh, we sh uh, user should be ready to uh, such equations. Uh, next uh, is uh, an article to how to implement asymmetric uh, server-side authentication uh, with the uh, sample of server-side and uh, validation incoming d data. Uh, so uh, remembering, uh, remembering uh, credentials is uh, that's a difficult task. Uh, entering uh, passwords is a difficult uh, part to use it too. So uh, this uh, this kind of thing, uh, uh, users are uh, most likely uh, use uh, some simple, uh, not uh, some simple password, and that is all. Uh, 
So if we implement this correctly, fingerprint uh, authentication can uh, give us uh, opportunity to uh, turn uh, the, uh, uh, current poor user experience to uh, secure an exciting uh, feature. Uh, that is all. Thank you.